Right over the bed, right over the bed. Nigga, I gotta be safe. Look, is this voice talk? been saying there's an s factor in denver there's a player that could really take them over the top and now it's starting to come to fruition this is the broken news of jalen and jacoby watchers and listeners michael porter jr a career high 25 points to help them get a win over the surprisingly talented pacers jalen do you think michael porter jr can get this nuggets team over the hump i do and you and i both love this nuggets team mm-hmm. before last season He's a key. You see teams that win championships or go deep in the playoff, what they always have, they have a good wing player. And Michael Porter Jr. could be that good wing player for Denver. That could be another key player outside of Yerkich and Murray. That could be another dark horse for them that everyone is not going to suspect to help lead this team to the next level. He can be that guy. You see the you see the potential that's coming out of him. First he put up 19. Now he put up 25 to help them. They seeing it. They put him in that starting lineup because they know they believe in him. They extend his minutes because they know this could be the key right here. We felt like they were going to be a surprisingly deep team. Yep. As Jokic took the All NBA leap and became the best player on their squad they paid murray they harris plays defense they have some will barton um is giving them buckets but paul Millsap is in his mid-30s yes and he plays alongside the joker you need a stretch type four that can do step back threes like mark michael porter so curl and you see that's what they need he another guy to go get his own buckets. That's why he's going to be the big factor for them to take that next jump right there. That, that's what they need. They need that type player right there because Minnesota is up there in age. So you're going to need that young wing to help y'all get where y'all want to go. To go deep in the playoffs. That's They're going to need that. And you see it. And that's why his men are getting extended because trust is there. My own trust in him. He see, oh, this can help my team out right here. If Yerkes struggle and very up and down in the game, you know you had another guy that could potentially be another star player away along with Yerkes and Murray, and that could be a big three right there. Because everyone that had successful always have a stretch wing. He could go get his own. Because with the Joker initiating the offense, guess what? The paint wide open. Yep. Paint wide open. You need people that can slash in there. And Joker will find you. He's going to find, find you. If you're open, he will find you. The ball will be in your And head. they have guys that can do that. Craig and Beasley mm -hmm. and Grant. All of these guys are slashers. All of these guys are finishers. But he's the wild card. That's why you take him as a lottery pick. You redshirt him in theory last season. Yep. That's why I think the Pelicans should also do with Zion. You allow him to get healthy. Remember, he had multiple back surgeries. He only played a handful of maybe 10 games in college. I think it was even less. Okay. And so now you get premium talent late in the lottery. Now he's healthy. He looks good. He's playing well. He looks good. And he's going to be a difference maker. Mark Mop. He is the difference maker. That's why they let him red shirt last year and let him stay up for years because Denver seen some in him in them 10 games in college. And once they drafted him, they instantly shut him down because they know what he could bring once he's healthy. And look, and this is the result that they're getting because they know, they paid attention and seeing. And we know what we're going to get when we let him get that rest and be fully healthy for us. Words. The Clippers on paper, they're better than the Nuggets. Yeah. They're also better than the Rockets. On paper. But you know what I'm going to tell you into this microphone? They ain't going to have a better regular season record than them. No. Okay. Michael Porter Jr. is going to be a fact. Well, the Heat beat the Raptors, right? Mm -hmm. Two conference. But it's not just that. They held them to 76 points. Jalen Rose.
They played zone defense. The Raptors shot terribly, 14% from three. They scored 76 points. Does this tell you more about the Heat defense or the Raptors' lack of offense? It tells me a ton about the Heat defense. Also, it shows you when you're without your best player in the NBA, your offense can be stymied on a nightly basis. They're playing without Pascal Siakam. Yep. And he's one of the six or And they can't have these moments. When playoff time comes, you got to knock down them shots. You can't be missing those. From the perimeter. You can't be missing them type shots. You see, when, when you had injuries on your team, that's what it do. It hurts you. They still going to be a team that's going to fight hard and still wins the games without him. But it's going to be tough without having Siakam out there. It, injuries really hurt a team, especially a big player like him, that need to be on the floor to help the Raptors out. Because without him on the floor, this team tend to struggle at times. Seven legitimate all stars in the Eastern Conference as far as you I'm said concerned. seven. Wow. Yeah, it's only like six or seven legitimate all stars in the East. Like they should pick the best twenty four players, not twelve in each conference. With that being said, the Heat under Pat Riley and now under Eric Spolstra, they're playing old school basketball. Jimmy Butler only had eight points. I'm out there trying to play for stats. Mm. Okay. So you mentioned it. Defense is a premium if you're gonna get minutes for them. We love that you can make an open shot, Jacoby. Congratulations. We know you like to throw behind the back passes. I can't make an open shot, though, to be honest with you. But if you don't play D, no minutes. You can't find uh, uh, no minutes. And I like how they came into the year. Remember, Jimmy Butler chose his own path. It wasn't necessarily to join another superstar. But you know what he joined? An organization with an identity. Yes. There aren't many teams with identities in the NBA. I say this all the time. When you know a team that have an identity, and that's when there's a good defensive team, and then you get another guy in Butler to come on and, and, and increase that defense to a high level, that's why he is a good defensive team. It's going to be hard to score on them at times. They're going to have you struggle because they got multiple defenders, especially in Jimmy Butler. They can throw a lot of guys at you that can defend. And, and it's going to stack your offense. When you got that identity, now the, now the ride can go. Now, now the ride can keep going because you have an identity to yourself. Because sports are going to make all, sure that all of those guys play hard. So you don't have to worry about that. Then, then all of a sudden, where did none come from? Undrafted rookie. Score more points than any undrafted think rookie the Warriors, of think all time. the Warriors can use none right Correct. now? How about um, Robinson making threes mm -hmm. out of Michigan? Made 10 threes in one basketball game. Chilling. And Bam out of bio. <laughs> most improved player in the league, along with my guy with the Hornets as well, Graham. Oh, yeah. I love, I love Graham so much. Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights analysis. Step fast, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe.